check it. Hey, check it. Put the place up. Guys, we're out here today, and one of the things that people said that was, why didn't you shoot the docks? Why didn't you shoot the docks? Why didn't you shoot the docks? I seen that coming a lot. Uh, so what I did was I put a camera up close where you could see the difficultness I had not only catching the fish and getting into the docks, but also why with all the cross members. There were certain sections of these docks where you probably could shoot them, but the fish were literally taking two, three, four, five minutes sometimes to bite the lure. And you had to literally leave it in their face and shooting the dock might not have been uh, the best tool. But some of the guys who are really good at shooting docks may, able, may have been able to make them bite. But guys, let's take a look at some of the video below and tell me if you like it. Because this is kind of what we're doing. We're doing this a lot during the wintertime. We're going to do a lot of these type videos. And, and I enjoy doing them. Uh, you're catching all, We're catching a lot. A lot of video. Um, and we'll talk about the tools. First of all, we're going to talk about the tools. We started off the day... Um, using a weight above our line as we normally do but then we went and switched and took the weight off uh, it just wasn't the best way dragging across all those cross members i'm using a three pound crappie head um in orange got the little sickle hook on it this is a pole dancer um i used a few different kinds um to get bites i used a hand tie jig but then i used kind of settled on this pole dancer it's a uh, really cool color it's got, little, it's got kind of like the white ice with the chartreuse tail. Uh, this is made by Wild Willie's OCD. And then, of course, what I would do is, and um, I'm telling you, I use this stuff like it's going out of style. And and I I, it, I, I use chunks of it, but I want to show you just how much I put on this bait. When I tell you I put it on there, I put it on there. Now, I understand it's expensive, but everything in everything's expensive nowadays. Everything in fishing's expensive. Man, that thing is gobbed on there. I put it on the top, and when I set it in there, I mean, it looks like a glowing ball, and then I'm able to sit there and really concentrate on my jig, especially when you drop it down in the in, in the middle of several, several crappie, you're able to actually see that jig better. And I try to reapply every time, although a couple times I got excited and went back in there without it. And uh, not a sales pitch, but I'm gonna say it took a little longer on the times that I didn't reapply to get the bite. Um, that has got the fish formula in it also that could or could not be an advantage of this haven't had it out enough to be able to tell you that truthfully but but didn't want to throw it out there it seemed like it took a little longer sometimes i would get bit quickly sometimes it get bit not so i didn't keep official stats on that that was just something i wanted to pass along to you so let's take a look at all these great fish catches i tell you what and uh somebody's gonna say something about it being three minute intro but i give a lot more information in the intro but uh Guys, let's get into this. Let's get into some of these videos. It's going to be a good video. It's going to be a long video today, but uh, hey, ain't nothing wrong with long videos, right? Let's get
the place up. Yeah, we know what we made of. Can't get enough for you, boo. I'm a chaser. Face up. Not good. Technique is the key to fishing under this dock. Let's play. First, you gotta sneak in there. Second, you gotta drop it on the other side of the cross member. And I hope you can see it on this camera. Thirdly, when you set the hook, you gotta set the hook with the reel. And then you gotta use the, get it up over the cross member, push the boat back, get it out, and you catch a nice trout. <laughs> Look at that. Check it. Hey, check it. Put the place up.
It is a chore to get it in here, but I'm gonna tell you, it's worth it. You're talking about a mess. And let me tell you what I'm using. Wild Willies, OCD. This is actually a combination. I'm using three pound fishing head. I just eat it. Three pound fishing head right there. Wild Willies, OCD. Let me see what these are actually called. The pole dancer. As you can see, that thing be getting it. And that thing is two and a half inches long. And of course, using bait pop. Hey, hey, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. We got live stuff. We got up close GoPro video. I mean, we got it all, hey, and we doing it just where you guys can learn some different techniques. And I'm telling you what, who else sits down on the deck of the boat and pulls yourself under a dock to catch the drop? This old boy does. Hey, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Ring the bell. 2023 is fixing to be a huge year. We've got lots of announcements coming up. We're going to have four to five good sponsors for the. And we're not talking about pro staff. We're talking about real sponsors for the page that are really going to take this page over the top. We're going to try to make this a legit deal here. And also, um, we're not going to be doing lessons past the month of November. November, I'm shutting them off. December, January is going to be fishing. And, uh, Take a wait break from the from the lessons and then we'll be getting back to the lesson starting in January, first of February, somewhere in there. So if you want a lesson, I'm coming to Fort uh, 11th to the 14th of November. And also I will be uh, doing them around with the Northeast Louisiana area. Uh, 
Uh, give me a month. Yeah, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks.